is real. Physical is the illusion. Goddamn cracker! We're talking about a form of an up uh, of the ultimate weapon in the last day. This particular evil is divine. It's not the type of evil that you manifest physically by physically going out to kill anybody because by doing the physical act that is actually giving credit to the physical and therefore you are actually doing the opposite this is talking about a train of thought that the book of law says compassion is a vice for kings so what we're talking about is an alchemical process of getting to your pure energy or the pure essence of your energy we know the government understands that he's killed this over the years by giving you fundamentalistic religion and making you so-called quote-unquote good and why is it every time we quote-unquote turn good shit fall apart and not all that the most of the so-called people the so-called good you don't like no more including the newfound conscious motherfuckers oh peace and love brothers and sisters and you saying, man, I don't even like these motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And it's the same shit. It's the newfound motherfuckers in the conscious community now. All oh, brothers and sisters, all, oh, it's the blessed day, greetings, and oh, fuck all that old dumb shit. My goddamn colon's hurting. I don't want to hear no bullshit about no greeting and no peace and love and no beautiful goddamn day. We're talking about the kind of energy, the kind of evil that's pure energy. And what we're talking about is this. Now you have to take this off of the moralistic and humanistic side of shit. Because we have to stop thinking like humans. Based on history, we were advanced rulers of the universe. And we later on became human as a hibernation stage before the metamorphosis but now we are going to metamorphosize but we are still now trying to be human which is the cocoon stage so what is the other stage the other stage is this evil monster that they are showing in all the monster movies is your ass so what is the ultimate hieroglyph for the evil monster it would be that based on the alchemical term that we're talking about as far as the mythology. It would be something like the movie Alien. Take no prisoners. You see what I'm saying? Now we understand based on the Egyptians or the Camites, the ultimate symbol for chaos was not the lion. So the divine emblem of Sebek was the crocodile because a, co a crocodile, the only motherfucker in the animal kingdom, there is no compromise. The Gnostic texts, they talk about the alien god. On the alien god. So we're talking about here another system. Now what are we talking about alchemical? And this is what we're talking about. We're talking about this. We're talking about the word prime. Evil. How you get this word prime evil? That means that evil, or as you say, equals was in the beginning. That's all it is. I don't give a damn what. Religion, whatever. We're talking about chaos. And if we're talking about chaos, we're talking about carbon. If we're talking about carbon, we're talking about melanin. Now, in the cycle of what we're talking about here on pure evil, I like that shit. I'm pure evil. That shit even sound good now. If you get out of the damn bullshit old moralism, that's to keep a person down. That's a political shit that ain't but 2,000 years old. And understand pure evil. The ancient African or the ancient Atlantean or the ancient Egyptian understood formulas. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about here this we're talking about this prime energy bottles into a pit or a circle now as we know that anything that you put in something encased the older it gets the more stronger it gets 
until it eventually it is even stronger than the thing that bottled it. So we're talking about the mother energy that was bottled, the primal energy, which is the mother in mother energy. Tiamat, the chaos goddess, Apep, who raw over through. After so many millions and billions and billions of years of being bottled, it becomes stronger than the thing that bottled it. So we're talking about being even against God. Oh, now you ain't gone too goddamn far. See, you, you, cause you, we are Afrocentric, we are conscious, but we're still Judeo-Christian in the mind. That's a slave religion. Spawn is supposed to tear down the gates of heaven. Oh no, no, my Bible says your goddamn Bible tells you that heaven and hell will pass away. It tells you that in the Bible. It says that heaven and hell will pass away. So the only thing that can create is us, not God up there. That is something that already happened. You understand where I'm coming from? So therefore the actual Leviathan energy that the white boy is scared of and in Trouble Ravenscroft's book, The Spear of Destiny, he said we must prepare for this Leviathan's energy. Leviathan is a dragon that's in the water. Anytime you get the word sea, you get the word water, it's also talking about the deep wave of the subconscious. The ocean, the sea, the cavern. They say, well, the universe has no ending. That's what the white man said. Stephen Hawking says it does have an ending. They say, well, where is the end? He said, it's, a, it's a, uh, the smallest point of a point of a point of a point. That smallest point of a point of a point of a point is in you. That's your soul. That's the true you. That micro soul, what they call the dwarf energy. The only thing that they say is alien to both the earth and the universe, and which is basically the alien God, is some stuff that is in dwarf stars, which is burnt out stars, that is packed so tight till it produces a white powder or a white seed that if that particular white seed was to ever become manifested either in the universe or on earth, the whole particular earth would explode. Now, based on alchemy and based on what the white boy knows, that dwarf white substance this is based on their calculation. But in us, it's an invisible seed that escapes even when we die. They don't even get that. All the melon there, they can't get this little seed. That's the soul. But one atom of this, the entire earth will explode. And that, my friend, is the true Christ. That's the true crystal can only be produced in something that is burnt out. So the excrement is something that was used up, it burnt out. And from the burning out, it made a new seed. And from that, after it's matured, it will illuminate. You get it? Yeah. That seed, and that, my friend, is the Christ. So, the only thing down here that is old enough to have that seed in it is black people, older than the goddamn dinosaurs, Older than everything else, even older than nature, because we created nature. They even got the new Gnostic scriptures dug up in 1945 when they talk about this Eve person or this feminine energy taking her, uh, uh, taking her essence and creating everything. What we're saying is the whole Revelation text with the seals, the abyss, the dragons, and all that is an alchemical cooking pot talking about a thermal nuclear energy a subatomic energy and that's that's the soul but the, but the shit is that can be in any goddamn nigga bumming for quarters around a gas station and that is the damn enigma to life so now to, 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 to wind this thing up what they are scared of at this particular time is the dreaded Nostradamus prophecy the dreaded everything at this particular time because basically everything is manifested. But then again, that's the way the spiritual shit is. It, make, it, 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 it manifests in a time when we even give up on Negroes.
He went, man, hell. Shit. In the, in the manifest of the time now, that is scary. I don't know about New York, but down south, white people treat you better than black people all day. That's just some scary shit. Oh, hi. No, motherfucker, I don't want you to be nice to me. 